it's unlikely that anyone would argue with the fact that the year 2020 was rich in events. Most of them were, let's just say, not very happy. And yet, while the world struggled not to descend into chaos, science wasn't standing still. In just one year, many major discoveries were made, and things happened that may change the fate of humanity in the future. If you missed everything, it's not a problem, because in this video I've compiled for you the most interesting summary of this year. Even without following the news, you may have heard about the manned flights of the reusable Crew Dragon spacecraft. You've probably seen jokes about Neuralink and the chips that Elon Musk plans to implant in people's brains. It seems that this doesn't surprise anyone. And what about the nearest black hole to Earth? Scientists have found that in the HR 6819 star system, located just a thousand light years from Earth, in addition to two companion stars, there is such an object. On the one hand, this is far enough away, but on the other, a little disturbing news. If you expect that the Large Hadron Collider will destroy the Earth sooner or later, then the next news will also seem frightening. An international research team from the European Organization for Nuclear Research has discovered for the first time a new type of particle that consists of four quarks. Previously, only hadrons consisting of two or three quarks were known. This discovery was made thanks to the Large Hadron Collider, and it should help in the study of the fundamental forces of nature. Or could it accidentally destroy all life? While researchers on Earth were studying new particles, the International Space Station came close to understanding dark energy for the first time. They observed the fifth aggregate state of matter. Back in school, we were taught that there are only four of them – solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. But now it seems that we'll have to rewrite the textbooks. Bose-Einstein condensate can only be produced at ultra-low temperatures. It's extremely difficult to study it on Earth since the ambient temperature and gravity prevent keeping the matter in the desired state. But in 2020, it was possible to do it in space. What about life outside of Earth? In the fall of 2020, scientists were able to detect phosphine in the atmosphere of Venus. After a long analysis, the researchers said that the likely source of this chemical could only be something living. And this is on Venus, a hot planet where the clouds contain sulfuric acid. Of course, some scientists question this hypothesis. Instead, they suggest that the gas may have been formed by unexplained atmospheric or geological processes. But what if we've been looking for life too far from Earth all this time? In fact, all the planets, including Earth, are hiding many unknown things. We don't know their exact composition, but scientists still make assumptions. By the way, I've already made a video on this topic. Take a look if you haven't seen it yet. And now, about Mercury. It's located closer to the Sun than other planets and is heated to an incredible 806 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, this isn't suitable for life in any way. However, it is possible that Mercury may once have been inhabited. The authors of a new article published in the journal Scientific Reports found that in the distant past, this planet was quite comfortable. Mercury still retains traces of simple organic substances, the building blocks of living matter. Most likely, the period of life there wasn't very long because of its proximity to the Sun, and the organisms were primitive. However, scientists were able not only to observe a space object from afar, but to also literally touch one of them. NASA managed to bring the interplanetary station OSIRIS-REx to the surface of the asteroid 101955 Bennu. The contact was very short and lasted only a few seconds, but it was enough to take soil samples. This is a truly historic event, for which scientists have been preparing for several years. In addition, this asteroid is potentially dangerous for our planet. Perhaps, thanks to the obtained samples, we'll be able to learn more about such objects. 
But perhaps the most difficult object to study in the solar system is the Sun itself. In February 2020, the Atlas V 411 rocket carrying the Solar Orbiter Station was successfully launched from the Cape Canaveral Space Center. This automated spacecraft, designed to explore the Sun, promises to produce unique data. The orbit in which the Solar Orbiter will operate will allow it to study the polar regions of the Sun in detail for the first time. Among other things, the station intends on investigating coronal mass ejections, mechanisms of solar wind acceleration, things we could only dream of before. At the closest approach to the Sun, the device should be at a distance of about 26 million miles, and by cosmic standards, this is really very close. While some scientists sent this station to the Sun, others studied it from Earth. This may seem like a tall tale, but for the first time, it was possible to artificially develop a molecule that effectively absorbs sunlight and helps transform solar energy into hydrogen. Sunlight is an inexhaustible source of energy, which means that such a discovery could completely change the energy field. A new type of energy production could become a complete alternative to fossil fuels. After all, the sun already provides us with a lot. Can you imagine anything older than this star in our system? This may seem like some fantasy, however, scientists managed to find something. When analyzing the Murchison meteorite, the oldest particles of matter on Earth were found, which appeared long before the formation of the solar system. In fact, scientists found particles of stardust about 7 billion years old. This is the oldest solid material that mankind has ever encountered, and at the same time, the key to understanding what was happening in the universe at that time. Unfortunately, so far, most of our knowledge of space is based on theories, but they are sometimes shocking. Researchers from the University of Nottingham have suggested that there may be more than 30 active communicating civilizations in our home galaxy. Although the average distance to these civilizations would be 17,000 light years, which makes their detection and communication with them very difficult. It seems that it's simply impossible to find out everything. The world is constantly changing. Some theories appear, others are refuted. It's quite possible that we'll soon learn whether Stephen Hawking was right when he spoke about the Big Bang and whether the Great Oxidation event actually happened. Well, in order not to miss the most interesting and important things from the world of science, subscribe to my channel. See you soon.